Hello and welcome to another episode of Food is Talk. My name is Zeke and Simone is behind the camera as usual. And today we are cooking. What are we cooking? <laughs> Salmon in a pouch with, uh, with broccoli and a cauliflower puree. Stick around. All right, so we're doing a salmon in a pouch today. Um, something that's very, very popular because it's super easy to do. You don't really have to do a lot of stuff and um, you don't even have to do a lot of cleaning up later. You just throw the foil away. So for the salmon section of today's dish, the, um, this is what we're gonna be using. So we have some um, Zeke fish, wild sockeye salmon fillets. Now, you don't necessarily uh, have to get Zeke fish. It's, it's quite hard to find. Um, but if you can, it's, uh, it's pretty good, so get that. We have some green onions here. I have a little thyme, fresh thyme. I have a lemon that I've sliced, and I have some, um, what's this, cilantro. I have some cilantro. And we're also gonna be using some butter, and I completely forgot to put it on the table, but we're also using garlic. For the uh, puree side of things, the uh, ingredients are really straightforward. You're just gonna need some broccoli and you're gonna need some cauliflower. So um, just make sure to trim. You only need the top part of the florette and the stems, don't throw them away. Just throw them in a plastic bag with the rest of your vegetable scraps um, and throw it in the freezer and you can make stock later. Just make sure that you chop them up as small as you can go. This will help them cook faster so we can puree them um, also faster. We're gonna be adding obviously some, um, some, some things to spice things up, um, like salt, pepper, and a few spices. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. Very simple. All right, so first things first, um, to make the salmon, um, we're gonna need to do something to our butter to make it awesome. So I already did this, but I'll show you guys how I did it. So it's very, very simple. So I just got some butter that I left out um, until it got to room temperature, so you can very easily sort of um, dig into it with a fork. Um, I added a little bit of uh, thyme that I chopped up really, really fine. I added some garlic that we, uh, what did we do? We grated it yeah. into, the, into the butter. And then some salt, some pepper, and I think that was it. And then you just whipped it up with, um, sort of mixed everything together with a fork. And that's it. So this is our garlic thyme butter. All right, so let's, uh, let's cut this into nice, uh, generous portions. I don't know, I'm gonna say this is, uh, this is two portions, right? So let's make a nice, decent portion here. So just go down, make sure you have a nice, sharp knife. Ooh, I think there are some bones here. So if you find some bones, just take them out. It's not a big deal. So if you run your finger down where the bones are, you can see if there's any more bones and there's none left. So that's it, there's just two bones in that. Which is not so bad, pretty good. Last thing, I'm just gonna turn the salmon around and just run the knife over the back, make sure there are no scales. We're not gonna eat the skin anyway, really, so this step is not really that important. I am just a little bit finicky. All right, last step, I just like to pat, uh, pat dry my salmon. And the reason for this is I find that when it's dry, whatever you add to it sticks much better, right? So just make sure that it's dry. And that is all the prep done. So assembly time, this is actually super, super, super easy. So for the pouch, we're gonna be using um, aluminum foil. Um, so, I don't know, take a nice, generous amount out like this. And usually I like to fold it in half so it's a bit stronger. I usually like to start with a layer of my butter. So I take a layer of my butter and sort of go into the center. Now take your salmon piece and you're gonna put it on the foil skin side down, right? So try to put it in a way where you know that you can be, or you know that you'll be able to close the foil. So I'm gonna go this way. So now for your seasonings. Seasonings um, really is completely up to you. Um, salt and pepper is very classic. Um, cumin works pretty well with seafood I find, um, but you can really add whatever it is that you like, right? So I'm gonna keep it simple. A little salt, a little pepper. Actually, I'm thinking of adding a little bit of uh, green onions. These green onions have been in my fridge for about, I don't know, two days. So I just wanna use them up, get rid of them. So I'm gonna go with a long cut. I'm just gonna put it on either side of the salmon. So just like so. We're gonna get a nice amount of the butter. Do not be skimpy with this. 
So once you reach this stage, all that's left is to take your um, lemon slices. And usually three, I find, is a good amount. It covers the fish. And last but not least, I'm gonna add some fresh cilantro. And we're gonna take it off with the, um, with the onions at the end, right? So that's it. All right, so you can pretty much close this whatever uh, way you like. The important part is you don't want to leave um, any parts that are open, right? So we wanna, we wanna keep all the steam um, as this cooks inside. So I usually, what I do is I bring out the sides like this, right? Make them meet in the top. And then I usually just fold them twice, like that. And then I just do another fold. So. Try as much as you can, like I'm not touching the salmon from the top, right? And the sides, you can sort of feel where the salmon is, right, in the middle here. So just pinch it with your hands, right, to the top. And then again, just do a double fold so you make sure that the air doesn't come out. Then you go one and two. And that's it. That's, uh, that's really all you have to do. This is ready to go in the oven. Um, so preheat your oven to about 390 degrees, that's what I did. And we're gonna pop this baby in for about 18 minutes. Um, so to make a puree, it's pretty straightforward. It is actually extremely, extremely easy, right? So for this, so I'm gonna have two purees in today's dish and um, I want them to be a little bit different from each other, right? So I don't want both of them to be the same. So for the broccoli, I'm gonna go for a lemony, sort of zesty, fresh kind of uh, sort of flavor to it. So. Um, what we will be adding to this is some olive oil, some salt, a little bit of um, basil, some apple cider vinegar, and a lemon. All right, so the way that we're gonna do this puree is I'm going to boil the, um, the broccoli first, and I don't know, I'm guessing about five minutes should do the trick, so I'll put it in for five minutes into boiling water, and then we'll check on it. So I'm just gonna drop the broccoli in. What's that? That's a splash of lemon. Look, I heard somewhere that if you put some lemon into the broccoli while you're boiling it, especially if you're gonna boil it for more than a minute, um, it helps keep the color. And you know, I like to try stuff, so uh, I'm curious to see if this works or not. This is my extremely, extremely cheap um, food processor. It, it still works, but there's a crack in it, so I duct tape it whenever I use it. Um, and then after I'm done, I just, I just whoops, I just, um, I take this off. All right, so it's been five minutes. The broccoli did change color a little bit, so that lemon trick is total bull All right, so I'm just gonna strain it. Don't be too worried about straining it because you do need some of, uh, you need some liquid. Okay, so here we go. Pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna put a little salt, um, a little bit of dried basil, tablespoon, two tablespoon of olive oil, the lemon. Try to catch any seeds uh, in your hands. Now, I know this uh, this looks like a really bad uh, <laughs> food process, <laughs> but uh, it does the job. See, told you. It's impressive, isn't it, for its size. So this puree is kind of uh, funky looking. But it's pretty good. Usually I like to have the uh, the broccoli stuff cold, so I put this, I don't know, I put it for about five minutes in the freezer, but then I take it out and put it in the fridge. Any longer than that, it's gonna start to freeze. Um, but yeah, and just chill it. Okay, so for the cauliflower, again, it's pretty straightforward, but we're not gonna be doing the boiling way. Um, I want this to be a bit more robust and, um, and just be more earthy, right? So um, we're actually gonna saute this on a pan, um, add the rest of the ingredients to it, and once it gets nice and soft, we're gonna add uh, some milk to deglaze, and then we will puree everything together. So here's what I'm gonna put into this, some salt, some pepper, I'm gonna add um, a garlic clove, some butter, um, that we're also gonna use some a little bit of oil with, just so that it doesn't burn too quickly, some nutmeg, and this is some uh, oregano and onion powder, and then the milk that we will be adding at the end. Medium heat for this, because, um, we don't want the uh, we don't want the cauliflower to burn too quick or to stick um, to the bottom of the pan. We do want it to slowly brown and sort of caramelize and then 
Small bits and pieces of it will stick to the pan, which will uh, be beautiful when we add the milk to the glaze in the end. So I'm just adding my butter, a little bit of the, a little bit of oil, just to help control the melting point. And that's it. And then I'm just gonna start to add my cauliflower. So this has uh, been cooking for about three minutes now. So I'm just gonna season it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and some pepper. All right, so as you can see, we are starting to get um, some color now on our uh, cauliflower. So I'm just gonna let it brown just a little bit more. And then we're gonna add the rest of our spices. So I'm gonna go in with my garlic first. I'm gonna grate it. Oh, that smells amazing already. Um, now I'm gonna add a dash of nutmeg. Not too much nutmeg. Oregano. Onion powder. And that's it. I'm gonna give this a mix for about a minute or two to get everything incorporated. All right, so we're just gonna add milk. Just a little bit. Careful, it's gonna get really hot. And yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So not too much milk, you just want enough milk sort of. So when you puree things, it's nice. All right, so make sure that you do this when this is uh, hot. Um, so I'm gonna be using this thing today. I have no idea what it's called, but um, you don't actually have to. You can just puree it again in a food processor like before. There, and um, I actually, I don't like to go all the way. Like I don't wanna make it super, super fine. Um, I like to give it a little bit of a texture, um, but that's pretty much it. Ooh, it's hot. Maybe a little salt. A little salt. Simone, what do you think? Salt? Uh, I don't want to call it flour. Come on, dude. It's good. Ugh. It's good. Eat your vegetable. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. Thanks. Does it need salt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit, a pinch. Yeah. All right, now unlike the uh, broccoli, I like to have this um, hot. So uh, you can just keep it in the pan, put a lid on it and just keep it warm until the fish is done and the fish should be done any moment soon. All right, 19 minutes are up. We are gonna take this off. Be careful, the foil is very, very hot, right? Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I, I can't. And three. All right, so be super, super careful. I cannot stress this enough. This is very, very hot, right? So this is dangerous here. And oh, look at that. There we go. Now this is an excessive amount of butter, I know, but when you taste it, you'll see that it was worth it. Ooh. All right, so here is plating time. So remember the, uh, the cauliflower mash that we made. So I'm gonna put that down like so. Uh, we don't need the lemon. Remember we put the salmon skin side down. If you see that the skin just sort of comes off from the bottom of the salmon. And there's the skin, right? See? So the skin all comes off and you're left just with the salmon. And take that on top of your bed. So remember this is the cold puree, right? So this is cold. So think of it as a refreshing salad on the side, right? So there's our broccoli. And there it is, not too much, just enough, you know, if you want a nice cool palate cleanser on the side there. And there's, uh, there's your salmon dish. All right, so moment of truth, the salmon is out and it looks glorious and uh, we are gonna dig in. So let's try it. Fish is great. Yes. Look at the color of that salmon. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower. Mm. Oh man, I don't like it. Seriously? My God. Nori, what do you think of the cauliflower? It's amazing. The cauliflower is very nice. <laughs> so if you're not five years old, you will love the cauliflower, I promise. So please um, 
give this a try. I promise um, it's so easy, so simple to make, and you're gonna love it. And it's just, you can't really mess up this dish, right? Um, the salmon is always gonna come out nice and moist. The cauliflower complements the salmon beautifully. Please ignore this man over here. Thank you guys for watching our channel so, so much. We appreciate it. Please, if you like what we do, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, share our videos. It really, really helps us um, out a lot. And um, comment down below. So until we see you guys next time, I've been Zeke again from Food as Fuck. This is the beautiful Nori, and this is Simone, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Sh 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 pow!